Hi, I'm Jared Trotter, one of the application engineers at GoEngineer, and today I'm going to show you how to create your first manufacturing bill of materials in the Manufacturing Items Management app on the 3D Experience platform. The first thing we'll need is an EBOM, an engineering bill of materials. This comes from the CAD model, whether it was created in SolidWorks, X-Design, or some other CAD application. For this example, I'll use a skateboard assembly that was modeled in SolidWorks and has already been saved to the platform and bookmarked. Upon dragging this assembly into Manufacturing Items Management app, we can see that the EBOM is added and we can expand to see all of the different components. To start creating the EBOM, I'll right click on the top level assembly structure and choose the option to create item and scope link and further select a manufacturing assembly. This creates a manufacturing item that is linked to the original engineering item. The 3D operations viewer is linked to the manufacturing items management widget. More specifically, it is linked to the MBOM components. So with the creation of this first manufacturing item, a preview appears in the 3D operations viewer app. The two views that we see are controlled by buttons on the tools tab. The engineering items view controls visibility of the EBOM, while the manufacturing items view controls visibility of the MBOM. Since both of these are selected, we see both bombs in the widget. To begin structuring this MBOM, I'll first create the wheel kit. For this production scenario, the wheels and bearings come in a package together and will be assembled in their own operation. So I'll create a special manufacturing item, which is called a manufacturing kit. With this kit inserted, I can simply drag and drop the desired components into this manufacturing context. Next, the deck of the skateboard is manufactured in-house by compressing various materials together to create the finished component. So this needs to be a manufactured material. Once this is done, the deck that exists in the EBOM can be scoped to this item by drag and drop. The Tools tab has the BI Essentials button. This gives visual feedback on the status of the components of the EBOM to show if they are accounted for in the EMBOM or not. A blue circle means the component is assigned, while the orange are not. I can use the control key along with my mouse to select all of the products that are not assigned and drag them into the root EMBOM assembly. Once the widget refreshes, we see that all items are accounted for now. We now have a bill of materials that is structured with manufacturing considerations and accurately reflects the groupings on the shop floor. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and leave us a comment with what topic you'd like us to cover in a future video. Visit our website, goengineer.com, for access to professional training, upcoming events, and more from your number one online technical resource.